Hi, my name is Carl from Steve's North End Mower Shop. We're up here on Maugers Mill Road on the north end of Pottstown, right above uh, the Redners in Pottstown, North End Shopping Center. We're right up there. We've been up here since 1969. Uh, we've had the shop and I've owned it for th over 30 some years. Uh, at this time, I want to take over a little bit about snowblowers. It is winter. It's the beginning of winter. Many people think uh, that the summer, uh, with the winter, but we're just starting our winter season. So we do have a whole line of Aaron snowblowers that we brought in. We do carry what we call the Deluxe Series and the Platinum Series, which is a larger frame than you may see at some of the other box stores. We have a larger snowblowers. They are 24, 28s, and 30s. At this time, I'm going to go over some of the features and things that maybe some of the other stores won't explain to you, but the benefits. Uh, this is an Aaron's 24, and some of the nice features on this one is that you can pull the lever down to engage the auger, and you squeeze the left hand one down, that engages the wheels, but now you can free up your hand to turn the chute, and you'll notice how quickly the chute turns from left to right. With just one revolution, you go from one side to the other side, so it's much quicker. You can leave your hands off of it. You can turn the dampener so it doesn't blow it as far, so it doesn't blow over your neighbors. These have a capacity of throwing over 50 feet in the, in the snow. Do understand, though, sometimes if the snow is only three-inch snow, it won't get the volume to really throw it. It's when you get up around four to eight, 10, 20, or 12 inches of snow that you get the best performance. When you let go of the handle, that just stops the unit, does not stop the engine. These are equipped with electric start. Uh, at this point, you won't be able to see it, but there is a push button. You plug it into your outlet, and there's a little button on the side here, a red button, and that starts the engine for you. So uh, you don't have to reach over and pull the rope. But they do provide a rope backup system. If you're out there blowing snow and you want to impress, talk to the neighbor and show them how well it worked, you still have ability to shut the snow blower off. Some of the other things about the Aaron's that is unique, it's what we call auto turn. On your old snowblowers that many people have, there's several complaints we hear. We gotta really manhandle it to get it around. This has a system where it automatically allows you to turn. Much more flexibility. So as you get it to the end of the driveway, it ability to turn and pivot for maneuverability. You'll also notice the type of tires that are on here, very tall tires and very aggressive tires, so they're not, you don't need to have the use of chains on here. This is also powered with an engine that is an overhead valve engine, so it's much quieter and a lot more torque, and that's why we're able to get better throwing out of this engine with the steel impeller. I'm gonna point out, I'm gonna set this down. We also, on the air inside, we use a steel impeller and in the propeller in the back here, but it's a cast iron gearbox. Again, this is a very harsh environment. You have these serrated blades, so at the end of the driveway, when the guy comes through with the snow plow and you didn't get out there, we're able to chop away at that ice hardened snow. Again, like I said, we're just the beginning of winter, so it's, there's a lot of winter to go. We got three more months of possible snow. So we do have these models in stock, really available. We have, like I say, this one here is a 24 inch cut and it's powered with a 254 cc engine. I'm gonna pull this one back and at this point, I'm gonna bring out the 28 and they call this a super high output. The difference in the sense, it's a larger engine. This is a 30C, 306cc engine. It's a 28 inch cut, but not that you can see it, but if you read on the specifications, it will have a bigger impeller. So you get even more distance. With the bigger engine and the bigger impeller, it allows for further throwing. It has an LED light built into it, so when you start up the engine, the light lights up your area so you can see where you're going. Again, it has the auto turn feature on it, the single hand control. You can put hand warmers on this model, and it is designed for take care of the snows that we do get in this area, especially with this wet slushy snow. It will handle it. So we have a 24, we have a 28, and then we have over here is a 30 inch cut. It's just a, a little bit bigger in the sense of width, same size motor, 306 motor, has the same features, LED lights, auto turn, overhead valve engine, very efficient snowblower. Okay, on this model, it's called a Platinum. It's a step up from what we just went through with all the Deluxe series. But these have some more features. It still has your LED lights. It has a single hand control, auto turn, but it has a feature for the turning of the chute. You can just see with the tip of my finger, I can make it go left to right, and it makes it much faster on that. 
It also has the super high output engine or the bigger engine and the super high output, meaning it throws it further than the deluxe series. It still has the dampener to control how far it's going to throw it. It still has the cast iron gearbox. And these are some of the things that in this world of snowblowers that you need to understand and maybe check out before you purchase your next snowblower. These will, one of the complaints we get from some consumers, they'll have a snowblower, but they have a turnaround area and they have to double throw it. By far, these do not have to be double throw. They will clean off your driveway in one swipe across the driveway. So that's something else to look at. Like I say, they're all steel construction. The warranties on them are fantastic. Talking about one of the things that we do see with snowblowers in general, the gas today. And, and we touch on gas and we're, we're becoming more and more uh, oriented towards, especially in the snowblower market and generators to buy ethanol free gas. And that's what we're doing in the snowblower world this year is we repair or service or send them out. We put ethanol free gas. That seems to help for storage, but we still put a fuel stabilizer on and I will touch on it. We use a company for stabilizing the gas, especially in the snowblowers and in mowers today. Uh, because of the ethanol gas, it creates a lot of issues. But those are the features that we offer on these Aaron snowblowers. They are the number one, they're called the king of snowblowers because they are the number one seller of snowblowers in the industry out there. And they make a great product. We do have them in stock at Steve's North End Mower Shop. So stop on out. There is a limited supply because whatever we have in stock is all that's available. Aaron's was not able to build any more. We got these uh, last March. So we had them all summer, but there was no real urgency. But now I think urgency is because here's the, it's winter time. Okay, what we're going to talk about a little bit now is the Echo line of chainsaws. We do have the full line of Echo chainsaws, and we have different models for different sizes of use and stuff like that, especially right now with the availability of, of its cold weather, and maybe you have a fireplace or a wood stove and the price of heating oil is going up, so maybe you want to make use of it, and we have chainsaws, and now that there's a lot, a lot of problems with the ash borer killing my ash trees off, we have all different sizes of, of chainsaws that maybe the consumer is looking at. One that we do bring in and it's really nice is this little light one. Sometimes you're not a climber, but you just want something very light. And this has a very nice little saw. It's very compact, very light, easy to handle. Not necessarily you're gonna climb the trees, because for me, I'm not climbing trees, but they do make all kinds of handheld models. They have come out with a line of battery pack models and this is one that we are bringing in it's a handheld product or climbing saw but it's all battery operated so that's something that's new starting this fall we had the line of battery operated chainsaws so we have this one is a small compact one and then we have another one it's a little bit larger for maybe somebody that wants to cut a little bit more wood and this is great because there's no oil no gas no nothing to mix you just charge the battery and go uh, again, it's all relevant to how much you're trying to cut. If you're just a, cutting up a, a little bit of wood that you get, accumulate, or if you're just cutting some trees around your own property that are small, these are great because there is no maintenance. You don't have to worry about mixing the oil or stabilizing the gas and stuff like that. Uh, we have, like I say, different size chainsaws that are available. We have another, this is our bigger saw that we do carry in stock. This is, is called the Timberwolf. This is a larger engine. Uh, we even have one that's really big. It's hanging up on the wall. It goes up to a 32 inch bar on it. Uh, so we do carry a, a whole many different models of Echo chainsaws. There's something else that some people aren't aware of that Echo has come out with their own cutoff saw. So that's something that if you're in the construction work or uh, and in that area, we do have a cutoff wheel saw. It's a top handle. Uh, this is much more compact than some of the other ones that are out there. What we have here, I'm just going over a little bit. We do have the line of Echo trimmers. I know it's not the time of the year, but again, some of the problems are that we're experiencing is supply chain. We did bring in our line of trimmers. One thing about the Echo line is look at the warranty. We do in our all in-house repairs. So I just thought I'd show you that we do have a, a good selection of trimmers at this moment. Don't wait until it gets into May and June when you really need them and there may not be available of certain models that you may want for your job at your house. But it's a great line of trimmers. We've been very fortunate to have the line of Echo trimmers and, and chainsaws. This we want to talk about, just show you that availability of Echo makes a line of 
generators. We have a 3500 and a 10,000. Um, just showing you that we do have accessibility. We have them in stock, okay, especially for the winter storms that might be coming up or the su summer storms that come in. When there's power outages and you need to run your sump pump, your refrigerators, we have Echo line of powered generators. The 10,000 even has an electric start built right in. And then we even have inverters if you're into that. We have availability we did not bring in at this point. Here we're just showing you the different size, the amount of different blowers that Echo does make. There is different, it's like a, a, a better one, a, a better, and the best. As far as different size blowers, what might fit your budget and how much to blow leaves. Again, the leaf market is somewhat over with until you get into the spring cleanup. So we do have them in stock, but the Echo line of blowers, the big one out here, the biggest one really has a tremendous amount of what they call CFM, cubic feet per minute, and the miles per hour. But again, that's large, maybe a little too heavy for some people. Be aware, like I say, they have a two-year warranty. We have handheld blowers. We have two different models in handheld blowers. We have one here that can be put on with a bag kit on it. So in the spring of the year, especially behind the shrubbery and things of that nature, it can convert from a bagger to a handheld blower. It has the bagging capability of putting a bag on it and cleaning up around the shrubbery behind it. We even have a little tiller here that will be a, is available for those that have the smaller gardens and stuff like that. And they even make a, a gutter clean out kit so you don't have to climb up on the ladder. You attach it to your handheld blower and blow out the gutters and, and that's available from Echo. This time I'm going to take a little bit, I know it's early, people are saying it's all snow and we just went through the snow blowers and, and things available that, but in the world of mowers there's a limited supply that we're able to acquire and the supply chain is limited so we do have, we did get some in over the last November, December we've gotten some models in from the Aaron's company and in the Toro company uh, that's uh, zero turns. So if your thoughts are for uh, zero turns for next year, be aware of that there is a limited availability. So you can stop on out, get some literature, get some ideas from us at the, our staff at Steve's Morth and Mower Shop, different models, different features. And when you're looking at other brand companies, what do they offer? Do they offer a fabricated deck or a stamp deck? What gauge steel, what size tires? Uh, does it have a, a armrest on the seat? Does it? Ha are you trying to mow a half acre lawn or are you mowing five acres of lawn? So we have different models that will fit those needs in the zero turn market. And then we're gonna have a pretty good selection right away, but I don't know about supply chain afterwards. Again, we have the Toro lineup and they have one in the back corner. It's a single cylinder engine with a stamp deck. Then they have a, a model with a, uh, what we call a fabricated deck. This is called a my ride. When you sit on it, it actually floats the whole seat and you have a suspension. So it makes it much more uh, nicer when you ride over uneven grounds and stuff like that. We're going to have the line of, we have a few rotary mowers. Uh, back in the corner, we have an electric mower from Toro that's all electric that we're going to be bringing in. And we have the Time Master that's the real wide one so that if you're really trying to mow your grass in a little smaller amount of time, it's a 30 inch cut instead of normally 21s and 22s. So again, I know it's, it seems like it's a long way off, but it's, when you really think about it, you only have about three more months um, until you get into March and April and the grass will start to grow quickly and after you get into the late part of March or early April, so it depends on the weather. Uh, there, we At Steve's North End Mower Shop, we have a lot of different uh, choices. We will gladly go over it, explain to you the features and the benefits of what you're looking at and what may fit your needs. Where some of the other places that are out there, they just show you a mower and say, it's a mower. Don't give you a lot of history, specifications, and what might fit your needs better in certain applications. We do have a whole line of parts. We are really stocked up in the spring of the year for parts such as uh, your spring tune-up parts, and now's the time of the year to start thinking and right after we get through this next month or so to start gearing up for your spring stuff and getting your mowers looked at. We do have a rollback that we can pick up your mowers, so if your needs are for a pickup or service, gladly get us on or call us up and get you on our list because, again, it's only about three more months and we'll be mowing grass. So at Steve's North End Mower Shop, 
we'll gladly take care of your, all your needs. If you have issues with parts, we can look up parts, availability of whatever, many things that were available. Some things that have been built now are hard to find parts for. So that's why it's important when you look at brand names, you feel comfortable that you can get parts down the road or down the years, five years, 10 years, and 20 years from now, like the Aaron's company or the Gravely company or Toro company. These are companies that have been around for a long time. Toro is over 100 years old. Uh, Aaron's is up into the 75 years. Gravely, I know, is over a 100-year-old company. So these companies are well-established. So that's something that you can rely on that when you purchase it, you're going to have parts availability. It's not going to be a company that through the internet, and we see a little bit of that. So hopefully this has been ex helpful. One thing I did want to touch on, we have one more about fuels treatment that we touch on. It's called a company called Startron, and we recommend that highly that you put that in every time you fill up your gas tank. Uh, it's a st fuel stabilizer. It's been time proven. So we've been using it here at Steve's North End Mower Shop, and it's used all the time, not just in winter storage. So at this time, hopefully this is helpful for you to get educated. If you have some questions, call at Steve's North End Mower Shop or stop out and we'll gladly go over it. Thank you.